In 2010, uh, my brother and I were visiting my parents down here in Florida and we were working remotely using laptops on our laps. For hours at a time, not talking to us, playing on your laptop. Well, we were working remotely. That's you, what we needed were, to do. After a while, mom came over and right. said, uh, I don't know if that's such a good idea for you guys. Uh, I'd like to have grandchildren one day. Right, she did. she did. I worked in telecom for so many years. I wrote the standards and did the analysis of these technologies. And my thought was, there's no way that power level could be dangerous to the body. After doing some searching online, we yeah, realized that there it. were a lot of studies out already. Very controversial, but, but still, there was so much evidence that there was no question that this was a real problem that really no one knew about. I went to look online to see if there was any right. laptop shields that I could buy. Nothing had everything it needed. We studied this stuff for almost six months, right? We, I tested literally all of this material. We tried to find something that we thought would work. And then we created a prototype, actually. Do you remember this? I think this was yours, right? Yeah, this is the first Defender Pad. So it turns out you, you needed three types of shielding to block with different emissions. Right. I used it. Um, my brother had one. Right. Uh, we, and then your friends made, wanted you one. You made some for <laughs> family and friends. We had it shipped here to this house. And these huge rolls of materials were then being processed in the basement. And we literally would cut each piece. Each piece and create them literally in the basement. The plan was if a thousand cells will be in business, if it doesn't, we won't. Yeah, so we wanted to see if actually the public really wanted or needed this. It yeah. turns out they did. Yeah. And so we um, expanded to cell phone cases, tablet cases, yeah. and just kept on expanding our line. There wasn't great resources for this information education. No. We started um, combining a lot of our information, tried to put out as many studies and a learn section right. on our website. We've created a health advisory right. board formed by doctors and scientists that we consult with right. and putting it together, we decided to write a book. Now, this was the book, Radiation Nation, and it was really hard to bring all this information together. So we became a, a big resource and so we've continued to educate, but then at the same time, we've continued to innovate in our shielding. And we will continue to bring the best in class product to the marketplace because we know you're not gonna throw your cell phone away. As everything evolves, we evolve. You know, you think your kids are gonna be out of the house after 18 and you don't have to deal with them anymore? Well, not this case, he's, he's still here. But we're really doing something we're really passionate about doing. So, I mean, I'm excited that we can do that. Well, from my end, uh... Not so excited. You think when you grow up, <laughs> you're going to move away from your parents and not have to see them every day. Unfortunately, this is a burden I have to bear for Defender Shield, is <laughs> you, you, having you to do. see my father every day. <laughs>